Thierry de Montbrial, president of the World Policy Conference. Congratulations, this is the 10th anniversary. Uh, what have been the lessons you've taken over these 10 years in terms of global governments, the state of the world, geopolitics in general? Well, uh, first of all, I would say that the, the first lesson is the relevance uh, of the project. Uh, because the key uh, idea originally was that uh, the well, globalization as a flat world in the Tom uh, Friedman's Tom way yeah. uh, is not workable and I was convinced of that and uh, I was convinced that uh, if the world is to remain reasonably open we have to strengthen at all level uh, at all levels governance, but governance, what does it mean? Essentially, rules of the game, rules of the game that the uh, different uh, actors uh, uh, f accept to, to follow. And we have seen those 10 years uh, that, uh, you know, the financial crisis or the so-called Arab Spring, you know, that has created uh, more, more and more disorder and then uh, Brexit and so forth and so on, and now Catalonia. So this is the key uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to to the success, to the viability of an open world. And I would say the uh, second lesson, uh, well, there are many others, but is the importance uh, to, to talk, you know. Uh, for instance, this year, we had, uh, close to the opening of the conference, uh, a debate uh, between the prime ministers of uh, Serbia and Albania of course, you know, Serbia and Albania is not the epicenter of the world, but it's a key area in Europe, in the West Balkans. And the remarkable thing was that these people now agree to disagree on yes. certain points, but they do so very politely and they accept to talk on many other uh, issues. And if you, uh, if, if you dream of having this sort of debate uh, among actors in the Middle East, for instance, or, or Korea Peninsula and so forth and so on, that would probably change the world. And that's, I think, part of the mission of the World Policy Conference. And you did mention, uh, perhaps as a joke, that it would be wonderful if you could get Iran and Israeli yes. representatives here next time. Uh, uh, that's exactly uh, the case, you know, Iran, and, uh, uh, it's a joke uh, in, in a sense, but it's, it's not in, in the sense that it is a direction of, of, of intention. Uh, but uh, you could uh, take uh, many other uh, examples, for instance, the Arabs themselves, you know, uh, uh, more often than not, uh, do not uh, like to, to, to talk publicly about their affairs. Now, a final question. I mean, you, you mentioned at the beginning of at the opening, uh, and you've mentioned just now that you know you've had the, the global financial crisis, Arab Spring, etc. We've also, of course, in the last year, had Donald Trump. What do you think the impact of Donald Trump has been and and will be? Uh, two things: uh, Donald Trump as such, Donald Trump as Donald Trump. <laughs> And uh, Donald Trump has maybe a deeper syndrome no. uh, on uh, the Donald Trump in a restricted sense. Uh, the uh, impact is already quite significant in, for, this, for the credibility of the United States in, in, the, in the world, or soft power if you, if you prefer. Uh, you can also say that uh, that credibility had been damaged uh, by, by his uh, two uh, predecessors, George W. Bush, for uh, obvious reasons, because with the neoconservative uh, policy, uh, he uh, is responsible for the great disorder in the, in the, in the Middle East to a large extent. Uh, but, but also Bar 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 Barack uh, Obama, uh, uh, and uh, just one example among many, you know, he let uh, Mubarak uh, down uh, and uh, that has a, a, an impact which is long lasting, you know, on the, on the, 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 the Middle East, uh, especially in this country where we are now. And perhaps also the red lines on Syria. And of course, uh, to talk, you know, I have nothing 
uh, again, is talking uh, about red uh, lines. But if you talk about red lines, you have to be credible. That is, you have to know uh, what you will actually do if the red lines are crossed. He has recognized this, by the way. So, but if you now take the longer pers perspective that it, Donald Trump has a syndrome, uh, I think one of the points that emerged yesterday in the debate on the United States is that uh, the uh, trend uh, towards some kind of uh, isolationism, isolationism uh, might, might survive uh, Trump and, and be much more long-lasting. I think that emerged in the discussion. Absolutely. Well, Mr. President, you've made the WPC a very, very credible conference. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.